So this is a copyrighted image, so I would not recommend doing this to sell the, uh, the project. But uh, Jennifer in uh, one of my Facebook groups just posted this picture and asked if, uh, if somebody could make something like it. For, uh, she wanted to make a t-shirt for, uh, for a child, I believe. And I wanted to show you how to do this quick because this really isn't that hard. You could, this is actually basically just knockout text. So you could do this right in Design Space if you use a Cricut. But when I make projects right in Design Space, I can't share them. If I bring in this image of the bee, the file wouldn't be shareable anymore. I like to have everything that I do as an SVG just for future use if I'm not using Design Space or I have a different machine or whatever. So I'm going to make this as an SVG in Inkscape. So I went and googled Hornet clip art and found this one looks pretty similar to me so I'm going to use this obviously we don't want this GT down here on the bottom but uh, so we're going to take uh, first we'll trace this so this is just a JPEG I'm going to go path trace bitmap this particular image only has three colors there's white black and yellow so I'm going to go down to three scans if you weren't sure you could start wherever you want and just keep going down until you lose too much. So I know that this has to be three. So now I have that. If you want to go more into tracing an image, I have other videos that show that in a little bit more detail. Um, but for the sake of this, this is more about the knockout text. So this is the, the one that I traced. Get rid of the old one. Um, this, all I need is the black layer. If you can see, you can see right through this, through the wings and everything. So I'm going to get rid of this yellow layer. If I double click on this, I can pull layers apart. I'm going to delete the yellow one. Now I have this one, and I have to get rid of these letters. So I'm going to zoom in with control and my scrolly wheel. Double click so I can get all my nodes. And I'm just going to delete all of this and all of this. Just be careful not to delete anything you actually want. So there. Now I have my hornet. We're going to add some text. Hornet pride. This, I'm not sure if it is, but to me it looks like impact. Pretty popular font for this kind of thing. So I'm going to go find impact. And if you look, the little lines in the D are the long drawn out lines like that. So this, I believe, is the same font. But I want these letters a little bit closer together. If you look, they're not quite this far apart. So up here, this one says spacing between letters. I'm going to drop this down a bit. Whoops, too far. My T got separated. I want the T to actually be... I'm going to put this at negative... All right, I can still see the space between my letters, but it's a lot smaller now. So now I go path, object to path. Now each letter is its own path. If I do the whole word and do control K, that attaches them. Now I have two separate items. I want these close together for knockout text. And then we're gonna control K again to make that all one. Now, I'll put this over here so I can see it. I'm going to make this about like that. If I really wanted to be exact, I'll actually do this. And if you look, you can see that I think I got the right font, and I have the spacing almost exact. But So there's the words. Now we're going to take him and turn him bluish. That's pretty close in color. And I kind of want this on top of this. So I'm going to do object, raise to top. Now it sits on top of it so I can get a better view. I have to make it a little bit smaller. If you hold your control key when you make things smaller, it holds the aspect ratio so that they don't get wider and not taller and vice versa. Now I'm going to put it, looks right about there, maybe a little bit smaller. That looks about right. And now, once I knock this out of this, I'm not going to have the blue layer anymore. So before I do that, I have to duplicate it. 
So I have the Hornet selected. I'm going to control D and that duplicates it. Once you duplicate it, don't change the size of either of them or it's not going to line up later. So now I have him and I have I hold the shift key and click on the words so everything is selected. Do path difference as knockout. And now if I go to my selector you'll see that he's been completely knocked out of there. Now if I want the blue layer too, I'm going to put this right on top. I have to zoom in a little to make sure I line it up good. <coughs> but that's all you got. Only took a couple of minutes. We can get rid of the original now. I'm going to group these together. I don't know if I got them both. And then you would save this as a plain SVG. And then you can just upload it to Inkscape or to uh, Design Space and cut the black layer and the blue layer and layer them together. So hopefully that was helpful. If you think of anything else you'd like to see done, shoot me a message, wendye524 at gmail.com. Or you can post a comment after the video and I'll uh, try to take care of whatever it is that you're looking for. Thanks a lot.